Hey y'all, it's been quite a while since I've posted a video and if you missed the announcement, the reason why I haven't been posting is because I'm currently about 20 weeks pregnant, uh, which meant, you know, nausea and fatigue and just blehness on top of having a very active toddler meant I wasn't making videos. So you guys, you know, didn't get to see anything for a while, but hopefully this is the beginning of me getting back into everything. So today let's go around and I'm gonna update you on everything here on the farm and just, you know, talk about what's happened over the past six, eight-ish weeks that I've been gone. Since they are right here, let's talk about the goats first. Uh, Morty, our buck, has successfully bred at least three of the does Ada, I have not seen come into heat, so I'm not 100% sure about her. But, Sayla has missed a heat cycle, so she's pregnant. Uh, Zimri and Sabella, which I think Sabella's in here, um, both were bred, but we haven't had their next cycle yet, so I'm not sure if it took. And then again, we're back to Ada. I may have missed it because I went out of town, but... We'll see. I'll just keep watching her and see what happens. I'm planning to take the girls to get uh, their blood drawn because I want to check for diseases like CAE, CL, Yones, um, and in that panel they also check for pregnancies. So we'll be getting confirmed blood tests so we know who's bred. Um, I will be getting an ultrasound on Simri because she's so young. I want to know how many she's having so I can better prepare to help her with her birth. So since they're right here, uh, our Muscovies, I let them out, they are now free ranging. Um, that's a new thing, that happened yesterday because their pen has been staying too wet. It's just gross, I don't like that for them. And the coop build, because of pregnancy, was taking too long. So I decided to go ahead and let them free range. And so far, so good. Next is our rabbits. We have bred three of them, yes. Three. They should be doing about 10-ish days. The first one to be bred was Miss Alice here. She's always been a great mom. And actually, because she's so good, I did keep a daughter from her. And that is Miss Marina here. Marina is also bred. Uh, this is gonna be her first time ever having babies. With my first timers, I give them a lot of grace. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. She is pretty old. She's a... Uh, at least eight or nine months old now um, and so she should be mature enough to take care of this litter but if she does lose the whole litter which sometimes happens with first-time breeders it's not the end of the world I'm gonna give her two more chances because it's a three strikes you're out farm <laughs> let's see what happens this first time and then we'll address concerns later this doe is Fen she is Margot's daughter uh, Margot is bred and she'll be having babies pretty soon Finn's not quite as big as I would like her to be yet for breeding, uh, though she is definitely old enough. I want to let her grow just a little bit more. This year, I'm focusing on getting our meat rabbits to be hitting their goal weight uh, for processing by 10 weeks old. Uh, usually it's anywhere from 8 to 12. We were mostly getting rabbits ready about 12 to 16 weeks. Um, and then we switched bucks around and stuff. So this year is uh, Elliot's trial year. We're gonna see really if he brings enough to the farm to stay or if it's time for him to find another farm and for us to find another buck. This is also a daughter of Margot. Her name is Harriet. Uh, she's about the right size to breed. She and Fen are siblings, but I'm gonna wait until after we have other babies and just see how it goes first before we breed her. And then we have the doe favorite, Penny. He's a fantastic buck. The girls love him. He just does a great job. He's big, produces big babies. Great boy. So those are the rabbits. Uh, they're all doing great. We haven't added anybody new. We have retained a couple of does, but that was it. Um, and then, like I said, we're kind of doing a trial on some of our breedings. Uh, we're gonna see if we really like Elliot as a buck or not. We have bred him before. But unfortunately we bred him to does that were not the quality that I would really like. And so the babies weren't great quality. So I can't tell if he was contributing to that or if it was just all on the does. It just occurred to me that some of you might be new enough that you don't actually know which of my goats are which. 
So I'm gonna go through and introduce you to everyone. That right there is our buck, Morty. He is a Nigerian La Mancha cross, so he's called a mini Mancha. He's got blue eyes, he's tri-colored, he's very handsome, and I'm pretty sure he knows it. The two does sitting on the spool together are Sela and Zimri, their mother and daughter. Uh, Zimri was born on this farm last year. Very sweet girl, absolutely love her. If you would like to see the video of her being born, I will link it right there. This big old, this big old girl is Ada. She is an alpine, which just occurred to me. Those are La Manchas, uh, the earless goats. She's an alpine, she's huge, she's the herd queen. This sweetheart is Sabella. She's my favorite goat to milk. She has a very nice udder. I'm really excited for, no. I'm really excited for her to have babies this year. I'm really, really hoping she has a doling because I will definitely keep it. Uh, but you know, we'll see. Other than that, we have a layer flock um, of chickens that free range and they're doing great. They're pretty much unchanged. <laughs> they are molting right now. So some of them are pretty ugly, but it seems like we're going through a soft molt and they're not losing like all of their feathers, which they did last year. So that makes sense. But uh, some of them look pretty silly. Like Liz, my lavender Orpington doesn't have the nice big poofy butt feathers. <laughs> so it looks like she really doesn't have a butt. Uh, it's pretty funny. So the last thing to update you on is our pigs. I apologize for any wind you're hearing. If I had put off recording today because of the wind it probably would have been at least another week before i actually started filming and uh i'm ready, ready to jump back on the horse so here we are eh, sound and all so back to the pigs um we actually sold the kuni kuni the two boys that we had um i'm pretty sure that they had some pot belly or something in their bloodline because they were not developing like kun kun or kuni kuni should um, so we went ahead and sold them and then now we are looking to buy some females because we would like to start breeding them ourselves. Uh, but we're going to do large, regular sized pigs, probably Berkshire or something of the like. Uh, I just prefer them at least to the Cooney Cooney experience we had. What else is there to talk about? Oh, the garden. I let the garden go. It's a big weedy mess in the front yard. Uh, I'll rip it up and try again uh you know next spring but it, it was so hot and being like in the early stages of pregnancy it was not a good mix so i stayed inside as much as humanly possible um and i am just now starting to get where i can come back outside and like do things because it's starting to cool off here in south georgia so that's really what's going on on the farm not too much has really changed other than seems like everything and myself are pregnant so we're gonna be having a very interesting spring uh sabella is actually due on my due date so this should be fun so thank you uh if you've stuck around this far in the video if you're curious to know what we're having because we haven't really announced it anywhere we are having a little boy um judah's gonna have a little brother unfortunately i do think it is gonna start raining here in a minute so i am gonna have to head inside but I'm excited to be back. Hopefully this means videos will be coming out much more frequently. If you would like to show us some kind of support here on the channel, you can like and share and comment on this video. Uh, and that just means that YouTube is gonna think that this was a really good video and that it should show it to other people. Now, you can also subscribe and ring the notification bell if you feel like committing to us. But if you're not there yet, it's okay. If you'd like to get to know us on a little bit more personal of a level, a great way to do that is to check us out on Instagram. I post there very regularly, uh, more so than I have on YouTube the past couple of months. It's a great place to see things as they're happening instead of on YouTube where there's a delay, you know, sometimes of almost two months. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and for sticking in there while I was absent for so long. Um, until we meet again, bye y'all.